Hey everybody, Louie here from Tech4 Health, and today I'm going to be showing you the Tech Pro 900 and all the amazing things it can do. This is a 4-in-1 hydrogen, oxygen, Brown's gas, and H2 water system. So I'm going to show you how it works and what some of the competitive benefits are. But first and foremost, the whole point of hydrogen therapy is removing oxidative stress, which leads to inflammation and is the cause of over 90% of all the diseases we have. So getting proper hydrogenation is one thing, but getting enough and also getting it both through inhalation and drinking water is the most important thing. So let's get started. This is the Tech Pro 900. This is a 900 milliliter per minute unit. It will flow 600 mils of hydrogen and 300 of pure oxygen as well. You can breathe either or, or both at the same time. And this system, because it's such a high flow unit, it can be um, multi-purpose. You can have multiple people use it at the same time. You can be inhaling as well as using the eye or ear therapy cups, and uh, we'll get into all that. So let's start off with uh, powering up the device. It's very simple. When you get your device, you're gonna add uh, pure distilled water just until over the minimum line, wait 10 minutes, and then use the supply drainage hoses that come with it. You'll hook it up in the back, drain that out, and then refill it again with pure distilled water. Once that's all said and done, you're gonna power on the machine. Now, there are voice uh, prompts on this machine. If you don't like that, you can shut it off. Simply hold the sleep button and volume down or up, and that will toggle it. I'll show you that now. And if you want it off, you can just set it to the opposition. Your kit will come supplied with two uh, nasal cannulas. These are very high quality, 100% silicon, uh, silicone nasal cannulas. No BPA, no vinyl, and uh, no plastic as well. These are medical grade. They also have the humidifier cups, which will collect any moisture. You can very easily open these, drain them out, and then put them back together. And uh, there's an H2 for pure hydrogen port on one side. There's a pure oxygen port on the other side. Depending what type of therapy you want to use, you're going to plug your devices into either or. For this video, I'm going to show you how to do the hydrogen. So you take the end of your cannula, slip it over the little nose plug there, and you're good to go. Now, these are very firm, very snug. Keep in mind, hydrogen is the smallest molecule in the universe, and it will diffuse rapidly through just about anything. And that's sort of the point of getting a higher flow machine, because if you get too low of a flow, by the time it diffuses out of the machine, goes through the cannula, mixes with air, and reaches your sinuses, you might have a lot less than a therapeutic dose. In fact, we don't recommend anything lower than a 900 mil machine, because this can be cut in half and still give both people roughly 300 milliliters per minute. And right now, the medical studies are saying that to uh, achieve a therapeutic dose, you need between 120 and 240 milliliters per minute at minimum. So if you took a 300 mil device, by the time that the uh, diffusion happened and it reached your nose, you wouldn't be getting necessarily a full dose, and you certainly wouldn't be able to split that in half. So having more flow is better. There is no toxic level of hydrogen, so this just means you can shorten your sessions and still get a full therapeutic dose. So you can uh, breathe this, simply select your time, an hour, two hours, you can go all the way up to 10 hour sessions with this, which is great for clinics and health spas, but essentially an hour, even half an hour is plenty, uh, once or twice a day. So when you're ready, you're gonna push start. You'll notice that it's flowing, the green light will illuminate saying work. That's how you know it's working. And you'll also see the water kind of moving inside uh, the machine itself. At nighttime, if you want this to go completely uh, dark and you don't want it to interfere with your sleep, simply hit the sleep mode and it'll shut off the blue illumination behind it and you're good to go. Now, if you don't want hydrogen and uh, let's say you want to try one of these other therapies, simply twist and pull. These come off. Again, they are snug. They're supposed to be snug, so don't freak out if it feels tough. And uh, this machine comes with, you have eye goggles. These are actually swimming goggles. The reason we use swimming goggles is because of the suction component. Again, you're trying to make a seal around your eyes. This is very good for people with inflammation, bags under their eyes, oxidative stress, any eye illnesses or conditions. These certainly help and they have the same connection. So all you're gonna do is take that same, same little plug there, stick it on the hydrogen port and away you go. You'll wear this. It does come with earplugs as well. Uh, if you don't want the earplugs, you can just trim these little silicone pieces off. So that is your eye attachment there. 
And it also comes with a set of ear cups. These are sort of construction worker, uh, high springy ear cups. Again, you're trying to get a solid suction against your ears. Use the supplied hose connected to the two little ports and you now have eyes and ears. Now people might ask, well, how can I use multiple devices at once? The good news is this comes with a splitter and a whole bunch of extra rubber hoses. So you're gonna get one of these little T-junctions here and you can use this either to connect the hydrogen and oxygen together, which is known as Brown's gas. So you would take one of these white hoses, take another one of these white hoses, and then you would put one in the oxygen side, put one in the hydrogen side, and now you take your nasal cannula and you plug that on the little piece right here. And effectively now you're breathing Brown's gas, which is also therapeutic. It will flow out at 66% hydrogen and 33% oxygen. That is just the natural breakdown of H2O. You always get two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. So that's if you want to do the Brown's gas. If you wanted two people to be able to breathe this at the same time, all you would do is rearrange this to have the T set up like that. So now you have one hose that will go in and you have two outlet ports for either cannula. So this will go into the hydrogen. And now you're gonna take your cannula and plug it in on one side here. And then you would take the other person's cannula and plug it in here. And now you have two people breathing pure hot hydrogen at 300 milliliters per minute each, which is still well over a medical dose. And uh, the machine can do that uh, without any problems at all. Uh, conversely, you can also do this, where instead of having one cannula and one other person using it, you could, let's say, have one nasal cannula. If I could put it in the right way, that'd be awesome. So you have one nasal cannula here, and then you could hook up the eye goggles to have your eye therapy. And you could hook that into the secondary port right here as well. So now you're flowing hydrogen into your eyes as well as into your nose. You're getting double benefit. You could do this with the eyes and the ears with any combination, ears and nose, eyes and nose, or multiple people. It's very versatile, so you're getting more bang for your buck because you can do so many different things with this machine. Another cool feature that this machine has that most others do not is the ability to produce high ppm uh, h2 water there's a lot of products on the market claiming to make hydrogen the biggest issues with most is the quality sometimes with hydrogen water production you're also producing chlorine ozone and peroxide so some of those water bottles that you see on the on the internet that seem reasonably priced could actually be putting poisonous water into the water bottle so utmost quality you want to look for things that are called pem membranes proton exchange membrane and it's a way of diffusing hydrogen into the product and uh, it is a safer way to do it because it off gases the bad things that are produced so in terms of h2 water you're also going to receive a uh, water rod that basically this is a stainless steel uh, rod it'll come with some clear hoses that you can manipulate so you're going to take your water device plug it into the h2 yeah, large quantities of water this can do. It's not like some of those bottles that you see online where they do like 200 milliliters and that's all they can do at a time. I've done this with two, two and a half, even up to three milliliters of water. Five, five to seven minutes max is really all you need to get maximum saturation. So you're gonna turn on your machine. It's gonna illuminate that it's working. And then you're gonna put this in the actual jug that you're trying to uh, to uh, hydrogenate and as you can see it's producing pure hydrogen those bubbles are pure hydrogen gas the bigger bubbles aren't the ones that are effective because that's basically hydrogen escaping but what you, you can't, can't see are the nano bubbles that are being produced which very quickly dissolve in hydrogen or in the water so keep in mind too that under normal atmospheric pressure the most any device will be able to produce hydrogen wise is just shy of 1.6 ppm uh, or 1600 ppm 1.6 milligrams now the metric for milligrams uh, of hydrogen is actually milligrams per liter so if you've seen hydrogen water bottles advertising four or five thousand ppm that's great but you need to divide that in four because that's making that concentration in only a quarter of a liter so multiply it out to what it would be per liter and that gives you an accurate amount of hydrogen 
So this will do 1.5 ppm in just about whatever size of water you do. Uh, you can also use this to hydrogenate foot baths. You can get a longer hose, which we have available as well, to put in a proper bath. Let that run 15 or 20 minutes and your body will actually absorb hydrogen right through your skin. Because it is such a small molecule, it goes through everything. And there's no concern about having too much hydrogen because whatever your body cannot absorb, you'll simply just exhale. And our recommendation is anywhere from half hour to an hour, one or two times a day. This is different from just drinking hydrogen water. The main benefits of drinking hydrogen rich water are gut health, uh, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. When you combine that with inhalation, that is now uh, easier to enter your body through the bloodstream. So your cardiovascular health, neural function, cognition, it can pass that blood brain barrier and effectively improve your immune system, reduce that same inflammation and oxidative stress within your cells. So to give you a comparison, an hour on one of these machines would be the equivalent of about 2,400 glasses of H2 water from a machine that makes 300 to 500 ppm. A lot of water ionizers that are being advertised are quite expensive. Many of them don't filter the water and many of them produce such a little amount of hydrogen that is not even therapeutic. You want to get a minimum of one to three milligrams per day for drinking and 120 to 240 liters, uh, milliliters per minute as far as inhalation goes. That'll give you a proper uh, a therapy. Now, if you're a healthy person, you can expect to feel a little more energy, uh, a little more focus, less brain fog, maybe better sleeping, uh, digestive health. And if you have eye or ear issues, anything dealing with inflammation or oxidative stress, those devices will certainly help. If you are a person suffering from inflammatory related diseases, arthritis, even the after effects of cancer treatment, the inhalation we recommend would be the best way just because you're getting so much more hydrogen. It's easy to use. You don't have to set up a hundred different things. You put this by your bedside and uh, you can just have it. I have mine hooked up with just my water rod and one cannula. So when I want to inhale hydrogen, I'm using the nasal cannula. When I want to make hydrogen water in the morning, I'll go out of the shower. I'll get my little water rod in here doing its magic. By the time I'm out of the shower, it is beyond saturated. And we have tested the concentrations of this, uh, both using uh, H2 drops as well as a proper H2 meter. And this device is actually third party tested as well by uh, H2 Analytics, which is the most reputable laboratory for hydrogen devices. And in Japan, this has been around for over 30 years, this type of technology, it's just starting to gain some ground now in North America. And this is the only device we uh, put our stamp of approval on, and the only one we import. Anything with a smaller flow rate or lesser flow rate really isn't going to get the job done. And you don't really need to spend $7,000 and buy like a 4,000 mil flow rate machine, unless you're planning on splitting that up to four times. You have a clinic, things like that. So for the average person who's debating between, do I get a hydrogen water machine or do I get an inhalation machine? This is perfect for you because not only can you inhale the hydrogen, you can also inhale pure oxygen. You can inhale oxyhydrogen or Brown's gas. Two people can use it. You have the eye cups, the ear cups, and the water attachment all included. So it really is an all-in-one device. We are the most competitive price on the market and nobody else is selling this particular unit at this flow rate. And our customer service is seven days a week, North America wide. So if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. We'll always respond. And uh, thanks for your time. And uh, we hope you enjoy your Tech Pro 900 from your good friends at Tech Pro.